Hey there, how's it going? This is G from Tone Empire. Hope everything's great at your end. I'm back again yet with another plugin. This time we've got German tubes. Last time we had British tubes for you. So <laughs> a very rare and sought after German tube uh, preamplifier. Great on vocals, great on acoustic guitar, great on bass, great on drums, of course. Uh, a lot of instruments that you track. Uh, this is going to be very silky. It basically brings the sound up front without being distorty. So the glowy sound of tubes. This is not the very saturated or distorted sound of tubes. Uh, so let's look at the plugin. This is called the TFV72A. Hope you get some hints from the name. <laughs> okay, so right here we've got the plugin. We've got, of course, the input drive and the output. What I did do is make five models. So in the boost, you see five models, uh, which is basically uh, five stages of gain uh, from the analog hardware so that you have more precision going from, uh, you know, a very subtle uh, sounding silky tones to a little uh, saturated tones, but not too saturated, but it's very punchy. I mean, that's how the sound is. We've got some view meters on the left side. We've got a high pass and low pass filters. We've got input adjust, output adjust, and a dry mix, a very wanted feature, which you guys always ask for. So we're putting it on all our consequent, uh, you know, plugins. So let's listen to some tones of the acoustic guitar, as I mentioned first. So as you can hear, it immediately put on that tube glow without any kind of distortion. Almost like compression, but without squishing the sound. It just makes it larger. So things like acoustic guitar, if they are digitally tracks or, or with, you know, with poor converters and things like this, this thing can really make it sound analog. So it's kind of, I would call it a, a make digital sound analog kind of device without sounding saturate or anything like that. Okay, so next, um, let's try some drums. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. So as you can see, you've got pretty much a lot of control from going like, you know, very subtle kind of, uh, you know, tube sounds to a little saturated. Uh, but then again, again, I think it keeps the attack characteristics. Uh, the very uh, nice character about this particular system is it's not like I said, oversaturated or distorted like a valve card, which is just meant for, you know, mayhem. <laughs> uh, this is more subtle, uh, yet it's got a very silky kind of tube sound. Um, more probably like American tubes, you know, which are silky and smooth and kind of enhance the sound character rather than become oversaturated. So it can be driven, of course, like you can see in the higher boost settings, but it can be subtle, you know, if you want it to be. So it's pretty clean. It can, to my ears, like I said, make digital so sources sound more analog, a little better, have more dimension. Okay, so um, let's move on to some vocals. Why not, you know? Okay. I I won't release when I fall I won't release when I fall 
I won't release when I fall. 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 So as you can see, it immediately like almost like a compressor, but without the pump, uh, just brings everything up front and not too saturated. I mean, I was driving it a little bit uh, on the fourth setting, uh, which might not be practical. This and a little bit of air boost, you know, with one of your favorite plugins or maybe a Neve air boost. Bam, like, you know, you got the sound. So um, these plugins are pretty useful, you know, especially for people, uh, you know, who don't have an arsenal of such expensive rare preamps. Uh, with the neural deep learning technology now, you know, we've got there where there's no fake, you know, sound example or guess. It's made by sampling. So pretty much uh, this gets you the soul of the analog as it is, the changes or whatever that happened. And since it's trained on a lot of type of data, it's not just trained on sine waves, you know, it's trained on vocals, drums. We do very extensive kind of training. And um, this helps us cover all kind of grounds and what different instruments uh, or sourced sources would be like, you know, how the analog gear reacts to that and capture that. So it gets like a set of various things. And hence, you know, you get the soul and the essence of many of these uh, devices. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Like you see, we also try to keep the CPU low for uh, the neural plugins. Every time you see an iteration or a newer version, we're trying to reduce the CPU usage. Um, that's what we're doing. So they're very practical to use. You can even use them in tracking because, voila, they are zero latency. So you can pretty much put them on a channel and work with them, you know, whether you're tracking guitars or vocals or drums or whatever and get a nice tone, kind of a finished tone, um, you know, when you're actually working with musicians or playing yourself, rather than waiting for it to sound good in post, you know, waiting that, okay, I'll do something to it, I've just got a basic sound. Because I think it seems that when you hear something pleasant right out of the box, you play better, you know, you perform better naturally because you get excited and uh, it makes you feel that you've got a richer sound. So that's why we do this. We want our sounds to be richer, our tones to be richer. And this is certainly a very different device than what we have in our arsenal. So we are known for very extreme color and medium color, but this is a little more subtle, yet very punchy. It just gives you a very different sound than everything else we've presented till now. Lots more coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a brief uh, demo. Of course, these are on 15 day trials. Uh, so you can uh, download this and check it out on your computer, Mac, Windows. It's compatible with most DAWs and works on even bare bone machines with 8 GB RAM and stuff like that. It does. I have personally tested it. Okay, so I'll see you in another video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please do subscribe to our channel if you can, because I'm loving these interactions. And don't forget to write down below uh, your comments on what you think. We also have another video, which is just audio demos and not me blabbering. <laughs> so uh, some people require that or need that. And I understand I would probably need one myself when I'm demoing some gear. So we make sure we have that. So again, I'll see you in an other video. Ciao.